mission uh, tracking through 2000. When Professor Mellum took over as vice chancellor last year, he inherited a university that was broke. It had a debt of 65 million kina to service providers. Hidden liabilities brought the debt total to 87 million. Under the Finance Department's Public Service Audit Program, the university looked at critical governance areas that needed tightening up. We have very much controlled uh, the uh, payroll system as an example, uh, where we had uh, leakages. Uh, every payroll run, sometimes we had, uh, you know, 60, 70,000 kina uh, that we couldn't uh, explain. But that's gone down to zero. Part of the remaining challenge that the university has to overcome is its group tax liability. It involves a lot of thinking, uh, a lot of dialogue between government to figure out a strategy, a roadmap to service that. In 2005, Public Service Audit Program was established following an amendment to the Public Finance Management Act. This amendment was made to ensure that all statutory bodies and provincial governments will establish internal audit units and internal audit committees in their management systems. Currently, there are over 30 active internal audit units and committees. Today, the Finance Department awarded UPNG the best performing internal audit committee under this program. Along with this comes prize money of 50,000 kina. This serves as a milestone in UPNG's administrative struggles. As long as we have good internal audits, we will see results like this. In the absence of that, we don't find good results. And I appeal to management of institutions, both in governments and states, to also work with your internal audits so that you can be able to deliver better. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.